good morning everyone, or good day, good night, whatever time it is where you are. Thank you for joining me for some more Final Fantasy VI. Uh, still can't quite believe uh, I'm actually doing this game, but hey-ho, here we are. And we, last time we left Narsh, we teamed up with Locke, who uh, is now in our party, and we're going to head to Figaro Castle, Figaro, which is to the south. Oh, and straight away into a fight against a leafer, which is just a rabbit on a cabbage. And they are going to be very, 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 very susceptible to fire. But I actually want to see if I can steal from it first. Because when you have luck in your party, you might as well. You might as well. And if you can get a few extra tonics and stuff, that will definitely stand you in good stead. But yeah, fire is just going to absolutely obliterate this thing. Look at that. Huh. Tin standard chance. Not much XP, though, or money. But there was only the one. So we head down between the mountains into the open plains. I think we've got a little bit of a forest here. So we might run into some new enemies inside it. Another leaf and a dark wind, which is a, a black birdie. Let's see if we can steal from him. Couldn't steal. Yeah, the steal rates are not too bad in this game, I don't think, but they're not, like, guaranteed. Um, that's probably going to kill everything, so I'm actually just going to go easy on him a little bit. I do definitely want to try and steal from that bird. I just want to thank you, everyone, for the uh, wonderful, positive... Uh, reception to the first video of this, which I uploaded yesterday. People seem pretty happy that I'm doing this, and I, I'm so happy that you're happy. Honestly, you don't know how much joy it brings me. Come on, Locke. Don't, don't do a Zidane now. We, we do want to steal from this thing this century. That would be nice. And it's just a tonic after all that, okay. Not a problem. I might have to do some research on if there's any enemies that might have something really good to steal. At least in this area. 38 XP, okay. 131 gil. Uh, how close are we to leveling? 69 points from leveling, okay, Terra. And Locke is still quite a distance. So yeah, it is a shame. At this point in the game, you don't hear the world map theme. Oh, Christ. Oh, same enemies again, eh? Well, this time, I'm going to kill them nice and quickly. Because, <sighs> yeah, I really I love the world map theme in this game. It's incredible. And uh, we will hear it very soon, just not quite yet. Uh, now, can I open up the world map? No. No, I can't. I can just close it. So, yeah, we've got a very small glimpse of the world map. It's kind of hard to see, but there are white dots on it, which are locations like towns and things. And look, we found a desert. So, again, possibly even more new enemies. And look, there's a, a structure of some kind smack dab in the middle of it. Could that be Figaro Castle? We'll soon find out. Sandy rays and scorpions. Well, a a rack, a rack neds, was that? Oh, a, a rain, a rain eyed, a rain eyed. I've no idea. Let's see if we can steal before they die. Yeah, because fire doesn't do quite as much to them, which is understandable because they live in the fucking desert. And one thing I love is the heat waves, you know, the uh, sort of mirage kind of visual effect going on. Very, very nice. I do need to watch my health here a little bit. I am taking quite a bit of damage. There we go. Bum, ba -na, 76 XP. And Terra has gained a level. And yes, Terra will learn magic uh, at certain levels. I'm not quite sure what spells she can learn, but we've learned Ant Dot, which is um, 
pretty much antidote, cure poison. Very handy spell to have. Uh, now she has a bit more health, 114 HP. Very cool. Um, so, you know what? We're just going to head straight into whatever this place is. Figaro Castle. And look, they've got dudes on chocobos. Oh, I can't go talk to them. Oh, well. Wait. Hey, oh, it's you. Proceed. Uh, yeah, they're referring to Locke there. They don't know who this girl is, but Locke has been here before. Now, we're supposed to head to the throne room straight away. But we'll just quickly have a mooch around as much as we can. Beyond is the Figaro Castle engine room. We're ready to leave at a moment's notice. What? An engine room in a castle? What the hell is he on about? Is he on drugs? That's dangerous! Okay, well, we're not going that way. Is there any secret passages? No. Love the Figaro Castle music, by the way. It's very regal and triumphant. Oh, basement one. Oh, I think we found the prison. The dungeon. These thieves have been terrorizing the vicinity. Stay away from them. Well, I can't get past you. The chair's in the way. God oh, damn it. Maybe later we'll be able to have a, a proper look around. There's a, there's a wolf. There's a wolf in a jacket on the far right. Wasn't there, um, in Final Fantasy 2, was there not a character like that? I have vague memories of something like that. Uh, we've got some guards blocking the doors. Go see the king! Alright, will do. You gonna say the same thing? What a surprise. And look! There's like, freaking turbines in the, uh, or fans. In the towers. That's odd. I wonder what this place's deal is. They've got some pretty snazzy uniforms, though. Doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. For example... Oops, they're all top secret. Oh, what a tease. What a cock tease. Right, we're on a lovely red carpet here, but this is no film premiere. We've got some doors to go in. And I believe this is a shop where we can buy items. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to buy anything just yet. I mean, a tent would be useful, but they are very expensive. Very expensive. Maybe we'll save our cash for a little bit. But we do have a chest here, which this dude just lets us open for a soft, which cures petrification. Which, uh, at the moment, isn't really an issue, but it will become a problem later on. And this chap sells... I think these are referred to as tools. Um, and we can't really do anything with them with the characters we have at the moment, but... Very soon we will have someone who may get more use out of these. So I'm tempted to buy... To buy them, but then again, I'm trying to think... Will I get a discount later on? I'm not sure. Again, I'm not going to buy anything just yet. I don't remember if uh, if you have a certain member in your party, you'll get a discount. I, I don't know. Tonic. And an antidote. So, I, I, I'm glad that those shopkeepers don't mind me stealing some of their wares. Uh, oh, we have some stairs. On either side. Oh, and another chest. A Phoenix down. I'm going to call him Phoenix down. I don't care. Oh, we're top of the castle. I'm king of the castle. You're the dirty rascal or something. That's the rhyme, isn't it? Not much else to do up there, though. Right, into the throne room. I talk to these chaps first. Go see the king! Okay. Here he is. And I, I don't know, I've, I just like to hide behind the throne. Eventually he'll just forget that I'm there, and then we can scare him. Surprise! You mean this young woman? Uh, 
Who do you think you are? Oh, sorry. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. Say hello to Edgar. Bit of a ladies' man, and uh, a young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer of machinery. I like Edgar, I do. Um, we're gonna keep his name. I, I tend to use him a lot in the game. I am Edgar, King of Figaro. Surprised someone like me knows a king? I am, actually. Uh, when I first played it, I I was pretty, uh, pretty impressed. Talk to you later. And Locke just runs out of there at the speed of light. So, you're an Imperial soldier. No problem. Figaro and the Empire are allies. For how long, though? Please, relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? It's, uh, is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, you're proper fit. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. See, total ladies, man. Wastes no time. Uh, I guess your abilities would be a distant third. What's with you, anyway? Yeah. Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm. I suppose I'm an... Uh, uh, I can't read. I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing. But I'm hardly normal. I always remembered that line. Poor Terra. Already being hit on by a king. Right, so, I don't know exactly where to go at this point. I think we just need to head down to the entrance again, but we can now go in these doors. If we go to this one on the left, I think you can rest in here. Yes! So that's good, because we kind of do need to. Do, 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 do. In fact, let's talk to the ladies. Though Edgar shows his, uh, showers his attentions on women, most are too smart to pay any attention to him. But he's a, he's a goddamn king. Surely you'd be like, I don't know. Surely there are benefits. He recently tried to hit on the High Priestess. Surely, he's talked to you? Yes. Yes, he has. Poor Edgar. Well, I don't know if it's... Should we feel sorry for him? He's a nice guy, though. He is. He may seem a little bit of a eager beaver at first, but he's, he's alright. His heart's in the right place. Um, shit, no, I didn't want to actually go here just yet. I forgot, there's a set of stairs that we can go down. And if we do, we get a little bit of a uh, little bit of backstory. But you have to sort of leave the main part of the castle. Now we can talk to the Chocobo dudes. This is Figaro, the desert castle. You don't fucking say. Really. Really. Is it? Oh, you're all saying the same shit. Do you not have personalities? Anyway, let's go inside this tower, or part of the castle, and if we talk to this woman, the ma oh, matron, Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. What happened to him? Well, we're about to find out, or at least see him. Brother. What's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how his face has become. How- look how his- I missed a word. A very important word. Look how his face has become. Look how thin. Very, uh... Melancholic. Is that the word? Is that how you say that word? Music? What is this? What is it? Brother! totally read that in Liquid Snake's voice in my head. Tears? Edgar's twin brother who traded the throne for his own freedom. 
Yes, this is Sabin. I've always called him Sabin. I don't know if it's supposed to be pronounced Sabin. I might swap between the two, but as a kid, I always just called him Sabin. And yes, he does share a, a resemblance to a certain Street Fighter character. Uh, yes, his name is Sabin. Uh, he looked so like his father. When he ran away, he was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. Uh, spoiler alert, he looks exactly the same. Hello, little girl. Can I talk to you, please? His Highness said he'd marry me when I get older. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Edgar, what are you doing, boy? I mean, at least he said when she's older. Um, don't know if there's anything up here. Just another guard on duty. The Empire has smashed the three cities on the southern continent. Just a matter of time till they come up here. Yes. For how long will Figaro and the Empire be allies? We know we can't trust the Empire. You never can. Alright, so that's the left side explored. Let's go to the right. But yeah, that, that scene is completely missable as far as I'm aware. Uh, but it's, it gives you a nice hint at uh, another pretty cool character. And this is where we just saw them sitting in the library. Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. Silly people, scholars. They are, aren't they? Just the silliest of the billies. So, yeah, magic existed. Mage knights, eh? Mmm. I like the sound of that. Mage knights. It's got a ring to it. Are you going to say the same shit? Oh, wow. Wow. Fascinating dialogue. Bloody fascinating. Another bed here. It's a ran Isn't that a weird place for a bed? Like, you go up one set of stairs, there's like two doors. It's just a thoroughfare. But there's a bed in it. Like, who sleeps there? There could be people just waltzing in and out all the time. Then, uh, then again, this is a guard tower, so maybe that's just where the guard sleeps. Weapons and items manufactured here are sent to South Figaro. South Figaro, eh? Uh, and when I said ye uh, yesterday, well, it was yesterday, uh, in the last video when I said there are certain chests that uh, if you leave alone, we'll restock with better stuff later on, they are actually items in South Figaro and in a cave nearby. So I might ignore those, because there are some pretty good items you can get later on if you do. Uh, also, I, I want to clarify, I've recently just uh, checked something about the sprint shoes. There are two items, there's sprint shoes and there are running shoes. It's the running shoes that give you haste in battle. The sprint shoes are just so you can sprint. Uh, so... There we go. Uh, I think that's all of Figaro Castle explored, isn't it? Apart from the the ba oh the basement, yeah. Let's go, let's go back and see if we can chat to any of the prisoners. Aha! Uh, that clock doesn't have an elixir in it. That's just a tiny clock. Anything in this pot? No. Can I talk to you? I'm Lone Wolf, the pickpocket. Yeah, wasn't there... I'm sure there was a character in Final Fantasy 2 that was similar. Like, I'm sure he was kind of like a werewolf kind of character, but maybe I'm wrong. It's been a long time since I've played Final Fantasy 2. I've never actually beaten it. Um... Alright. I don't think you can really talk to any... Oh. Hey, let us out of here! Not on your Nelly, mate. Right, well, there's not much to do here, so let's leave. Let's go see what Locke's up to, wherever he is. He did say he wouldn't leave us, but he totally has. Wait! Oh. Oh, he thought I was trying to get back in the castle. Wait, I have just le I've left. I'm on my own. Where the hell's Locke gone? And where's Edgar? Uh... I don't, I don't remember where they are. Maybe maybe try the basement? The other basement? 
Yeah, yeah, he's saying the same shit. No, nope, can't go that way. Where the hell is Edgar and Locke? I don't remember. They must be somewhere. They must be. Try the throne room again. Uh, but, oh, hang on, what about this way? Back up to the top. Nope. Where the hell have they gone? Oh, maybe I need to rest. Maybe that's what it is. No, I did rest. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out one way or another, chaps. Don't worry. Oh, there he is. You snuck back on your throne very quickly. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, someone from the Empire to see you. Oh, this music. Say hello to Kefka's theme. It's brilliant. So sinister. <coughs> Fooey. Emperor Gestal's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live in the middle of nowhere? These recon jobs are the pits. Ahem, there's sand on my boots. Yes, sir. All set, sir. You're, gonna, you're totally going to... As soon as you take another step, you're going to get sand on him again. And that's that laugh. It's a really cool sound effect. Sir Kefka, what on earth do... Out of my way! Oh, I have control. I'm just re Yes, we have uh, Edgar here. What equipment does he have? Mithril blade, blade buckler. Alright. Ooh, come to think of it. Can I quit? Oh, I can't go back. I wanted to go see if I could buy those tools from the dude. Because Edgar is the chap that can use them. But anyway. What happens if you go talk to Locke? Oh, you can't. Alright. Fair enough, ruined my fun then. I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? You've been busy down south, looking for more cities to destroy? That's for us to know. What brings Kefka, humble servant of the Emperor Gestal, into our lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Well, if she's so unimportant, why are you following her? This wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies. She merely stole something of minor value. He's really trying to downplay how much they want her back. That's so funny. That's a tough one. You see, there's more girls uh, here than grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. That's that's a lie. There's like four. I I don't know. I'd hate <laughs> I'd hate to be you if we find out you're lying. Mwaha! I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Is that a threat, Kefka? Very subtle threat. Uh, threat. All right. Well, that was that was fun. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen now. I'd say that guy's missing a few buttons. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah? Where's Terra? There she is. Take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. Oh. Well, bye, Edgar. I'm, oh, I don't know. Should I go buy those tools? I mean, we can't afford them. You know what? I'm going to do it. Although I'm only going to buy... I'm pretty sure Edgar already has... Yeah, we've already got the auto crossbow. So I'm just going to get the noise blaster, which confuses multiple enemies. And the bio blaster, which is very similar to what we had with... Um, 
with the Magitek armor, which is very good. So there we go. All right, let's follow Locke. I think uh, I think it's going to take us to the bit where we rested. I think. I think this is it. Do I have to rest here? Or is it a different room that I have to go to? See, my memory is so foggy on this game. And the beginning bit is like the bit I've played the most, because over the years, I have played played this game and, you know, done this bit quite a few times, just not ever finished it again since the first time. What the hell? Did he... I have no idea. Maybe... You know what? I have a suspicion. I wonder if it's the room that we saw with the bed. I reckon that might be it. Oh, there he is, yeah. He totally is. Do do do. So, we'll get a bit of a, another rest. Because you never have enough sleep. At least I can't. Speaking of sleep, I actually, when I first got this game on PS1, uh, I must have been about 11 or 12. But I remember getting up super early in the morning like 3 a.m. to play this before school, believe it or not. Don't you worry about a thing. You're Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? Uh-oh. That's Treasure Hunter! He doesn't like that. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. The truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners, an organization opposed to the Empire. I'm his contact with that group. So yeah, so, you know, when that old man was talking to Locke about the Returners, I don't know why he was. It was purely for our benefit. Locke knows all about him. The old man you met in Nosh is one of us. Empire? But I'm a soldier of the Empire. You were. They were using you. Things are different now. Exactly. I don't understand. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now, you'll soon find your way. It's definitely a bit of a predicament to be in. I definitely uh, sympathize with Terra. How will I know which way is right? I ask myself that every day. Every goddamn day. All you gotta do is go one way and see if it is right. And if it isn't, try a different one. Oh, this is... Uh... Very foreboding music. Edgar's woken up in the middle of the night. What the? Oh my god. How do you set fire to a castle? Like, the stone bits. How? How? I mean, magic. No, they don't have magic. They have the Magitek armor. What's happening? It's the Empire. It's Kefka. No shit. What are you doing? Look at the... I, I keep on forgetting we get control. Can I go... God damn it. Why can't I ever go by the... Well, I've already bought those tools, actually. I don't know why I tried to go back. Look at them on the right and left. That is so funny. They are going ape shit. Bring me the girl now. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, here's a famous line. Then welcome to my barbecue. Mwahaha. What a dick. <laughs> and these guys that remind me of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> fire, fire. Just the worst. I don't know how to pro Oh, do we talk to this guy? Get ready. Yes, sir. Changed your mind? Guess I have no choice. Oh, damn! He did a Zorro! He jumped- Oh, that's so epic. Well, maybe I do! Shameful that a king should flee, leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful! Oh, yeah! Chocobos to the rescue! Dive now! Dive? 
Yahoo! Okay. Oh my god, it's a Transformer. Figaro Submerge Mode. Chancellor, no one can touch the people of Figaro! Yeah, look at that! How epic is that? And Sand is pretty good at putting out fire as well, so... And Kefka's left high and dry. Go, get them! Uh-oh. How can they keep up with chocobos? Calling bullshit on that. M-Tech armor, and they've got a back attack on us. I think, anyway. Right, let's see if we can steal anything. Oh, shit! I forgot Locke didn't get healed. Oh, fuck. Right, let's, um... Let's cure... Terra. Let's do some damage to these. Let's see if we can confuse them. Damn, they do a lot of damage with that. Oh, of course, I forgot this cutscene. I wondered why Locke got up from the dead there. But yes, what's the matter? You look positively spooked. Did, did, did you see what I saw? I like how Terra's not even looking at them. And, and how the enemies are just letting us talk. Yeah, this kid seems loaded for bet. She's amazing! That was magic! M A J I K I mean, Locke's seen this before. I don't know. He's seen her use magic before. I don't know why he's so surprised. Did he not realize it was magic? Maybe if it's been dormant for like a thousand years, would you would you know it when you saw it? She used magic? Terra, where on Earth? <laughs> Get it? Earth, Terra. Did you learn that? Sorry, I... Um... Look, I didn't mean to make such a big deal of this. It's kind of Edgar's fault, really. It's just I've never actually seen magic before. It would be pretty incredible. The only difference between us. The fact is, we could use her help. You, yeah, totally. Thank you, Locke. See, Locke's a nice guy. And Edgar. They're both nice. Right. Cons <laughs> what the hell? Is that supposed to be like, yeah, they're like, oh, was, she's, she likes us. Oh, we have confused them. Sweet! Oh, but it's wore off once you physically attack them. That sucks. Um, let's cure. I'm actually gonna use... I'm gonna try and bring back Locke. Do, 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 do. That other one's still confused, though. Ooh, nice. Right. Don't hit Locke. You son of a bitch. Oh, he survived. That was so lucky. Right, can I steal from these guys? Let's try a bio blast. Couldn't steal. Well, they do have something then. No idea what. I like how all the different tools have different appearances. This is gonna sting. Oh, he killed himself. Nice. Got two potions, though. Bravo, Figaro. I like how we turn back and run past Kafka just to tease him. And this is another lion that's very famous. Son of a submariner, or submariner. I don't know how he... Submariner? What? Why? Why does he say... I don't know. They'll pay for this. This is great! Was that a bad person? I'm scared. Yeah, you you, uh, you actually have a bit of a history with that chap, Terra. 
There's someone I'd like you to meet. We're members of the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, could certainly, uh, would certainly like to meet you. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic? Terra has magical powers. That Esper seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? Gee, I don't know. Haven't the foggiest. Just, <laughs> it just seems natural to me that I have the use of this power. But no human is born with the powers you seem to have. Hey, maybe you shouldn't have said that. Don't be hurting her feelings now. I apologize. What should I do? I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get their hands on you again, the world's finished. I'm sure she does. Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. Please. Right, so there's a cave to the south. It leads to South Figaro, which is the, the town, or the city of the region. Oh, we get to listen to this music on the world map for a bit. Instead of the Chocobo theme. And look! Is this, uh, is this called Mode 7? I'm, I'm not, like, I never had a Super Nintendo, so I don't really know, but... Look! How cool is this? Different perspective. Usually it's just a top-down view, but it's kind of almost 3D. It's very, very clever. Uh, the Chocobo theme in this game is, like, kind of crazy, too. So it's a shame we can't listen to it right now. I can't seem to turn and move at the same time. That's weird. Maybe I haven't got my control set up properly. Oh, well. We'll just have to deal with it. Um, so we need to go to the south. There's a cave somewhere. Is this it over here? Here it is! So we hop off our chocobo and they run away. But yes, we are now have Edgar in the party, good and proper. Uh, still haven't got any relics for anyone yet. Which is a shame. Into the cave we go. Do -do 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 -do. King Edgar, where are you headed? Through the cave and eastward to South Figaro. Return to the castle and tell the others we're safe. How the hell is he going to return to the castle? Yes, sir. Take care. I suppose they'll resubmerge. Re re-emerge. Re resubmerge. Re-emerge once uh, Kefka's fucked off. But how will they know? Ooh, this music. This is good music. And look. Uh, now, I always, I never know, right? Is it a turtle or a tortoise? Can someone tell me? I keep for I always forget which one's which. Recovery spring. That's super useful. So, we could use this opportunity to do a little bit of leveling, and I might do that. Even though I know I said I don't like to level too much in this game, but we, we kind of do need to gain some levels, I think. At least get Terra uh, up to maybe level 8 or so. Just to catch up with the rest of them. Um... But we'll see what enemies we have around here. And then we'll explore the rest of the cave. But again, I might ignore the items in here. Unless there's something really good, but I might look that up. Uh, is there no enemies in this first area? Oh no, there is. There is. Hornets and a bleary. Oh, they... Things on the bottom look weird. Holy crap. See if we can steal anything from him. Auto crossbow attacks all enemies as well. Very cool. Couldn't steal. What a surprise. Uh oh. Sweet dreams, Terra. Sweet dreams. Auto crossbow is pretty damn good. 85 XP. That's not too bad. What other enemies have we got around here? Is Terra still asleep? No, where's off? Do do do. What's up here? I'm not 
not sure if this is the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, right, there's a chest. Well, I'm not going to open that. I'm going to leave that. I think it might be an ether or a tincture or something. Okay, just a couple of hornets. And they can get tonics from them. Do, 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 do. So yeah, the enemies in here are super easy. And I am definitely going to take advantage of the uh, recovery spring being nearby. Uh, so there's another chest over there. Oh, virus threat protection. Thanks, Windows Defender. Thank you for that. Son of a bitch. Scared the living daylights out of me. Two more hornets. Is, is that all the enemies we're going to fight in fight in here? Is that it? Bit lame. I want something a bit more impressive than that. Do do do. So there's no more new enemies in here. I'm not going to show any more fights. I'm just going to do some leveling. More freaking hornets. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm probably going to do a little bit of leveling off screen. Uh, and that's going to be in between videos. So we'll, we'll end it after this fight. And next time, we'll explore, we'll see if we can find our way through the cave. But yeah, Bioblast is a really good one, but again, as we saw, I think certain enemies like the Weir Rats are, um, can absorb it. So I'm going to head back to the Recovery Spring, do some grinding, not too much though, just maybe a couple of levels. Oh, I love that. Tortoise? Tert I don't know. I don't know what it is. Someone tell me. But before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to uh, two recent YouTube members that joined. Uh, Powerhouse Miniatures and Stygian for the win. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for uh, pledging your hard-earned cash. And you, you know, people who do that, they get emotes and stuff, so maybe consider joining the channel, guys. It's up to you. There's no pressure, uh, but I appreciate it for all those who do. Next time, as I said, we're going to go through the cave and head towards South Figaro, which will be a fun time. So, hope you look forward to that, guys. I will see you in the next one. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.